Gemini, so this is going to be your weekly horoscope for August 3rd through August 9th. Now you want to stick around to the end of this video as I do have a big announcement to make. Now on August 4th, Mercury will be entering your fourth, fourth house of home. The next three weeks can bring a time for you to see an increase of communication at home or with the people you live around, whether it's the people you actually live with, but this could also include neighbors, family, friends. Now, this could also be a time where you might be signing contracts, making agreements or negotiations relating to the home. For instance, signing a lease, uh, signing mortgage papers. If you're doing maybe a line of credit or a line of uh, an equity line of credit, you may be, you know, dealing with those kinds of paperwork. Now, this can actually even be a time to purchase home furniture, home accessories, maybe cleaning out the closets and getting rid of some items, maybe doing a garage sale. But if anything, at the least, it will help in uh, increasing communication with the people around you. Now, there might be some financial obligations or issues relating with finances, especially, well, on August 5th, August 7th, and August 9th. The only benefit about August 9th is that it can help uh, in taking care of any uh, resolving any issues relating with finances. My only little concern is that you may not feel too, um, you might feel a little rushed. So I would say, take your time, make sure you read all the fine print because you don't want to override something or overlook something and then go back and say, oh, I didn't even notice that was there. And now you kind of are stuck having to deal with things. So I would say take your time, but this will actually be a time where there might be some financial obligations, agreements, negotiations to have to deal with. Um, a positive day actually will be on August 7th. This could relate to with your career or finances. Um, this could actually bring about even an opportunity uh, to receive a promotion, advancement, maybe even an opportunity to bring in or make more money. So the big announcement that I have for you guys today is that I'm going to start working on the 2023 yearly horoscopes for all signs. Now, what I'm going to start to do is I'm going to start producing them individually and posting them individually as I finish them up. So for instance, my goal for August is to uh, post Aries, Taurus, and hopefully Gemini's by the end of August. So you definitely want to be subscribed to my YouTube channel as I will be posting them once I finish them up. Right now, I am finishing the August uh, 2022 horoscopes to post on my website. So once I get those done and post them out on August 1st, I'm going to start to begin the Aries yearly 2023 yearly horoscope and then go from there so you definitely want to be uh be around for that now if your sign happens to be one of the later signs like uh saturn uh, sagittarius capricorn aquarius pisces most likely you're not going to see those uh yearly horoscopes ready probably until closer to october or november but if you happen to have a rising sign that is in one of the, you know, earlier signs like Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, you will most likely see that sign being uploaded and posted uh, on YouTube in like August and September. So make sure you are subscribed, but I'll definitely start working those here as we get into the month of August. There'll definitely be a lot going on, including Pluto will start to enter a new sign in house and we will be having a Venus retrograde.